discussing about the fundamentals of uh, SAP. Uh, we need to understand about the SAP systems, SAP portfolio, overview, navigation, basics, SAP user interfaces, system core, communication and integration technologies, flow of an ABAP program, and uh, ABAP workbench, how it works, and basic uh, ABAP language elements and modulation techniques in ABAP. These are things that we have to discuss. So in this, like uh, we are just get, giving and uh, you know discussing about the overview of it, and then we are going to get into the technicalities uh, later. So then we have the complex uh, data objects, data modeling and data retrieval, classic ABAP reports, programming analysis tools. These are the these are the things that we have to have a basic overview of program calls and uh, memory management, ABAP open SQL. So basically, SAP systems. We have uh, what are the capable key capabilities of Netweaver. Netweaver is actually a platform. Um, so how do we actually discuss about Netweaver? Is it's an enablement of a concept for uh, making other technologies being capable of getting into that platform. So let me make it simple. Let's say Sony. Um, Sony is an electronic company. We all know that, and uh, they manufacture different. Uh, home appliances so let's say if if, if sony an electronic company has come up with a with a with a concept that they're going to introduce smart home wherein you can control all the devices in the home at home uh, with your voice so now this is a platform smart home platform wherein you can purchase any of the uh, any of the uh, you know tools or devices and then you can integrate them with Netweaver. I mean like uh, integrate with the smart home concept. Same kind of a platform is Netweaver. So they have introduced a lot of uh, modules or they have upgraded the old old version of modules and then they have made a platform called Netweaver wherein you can integrate with each other. If you if you look at the previous version of whatever has been introduced in at SAP Netweaver, same modules will not get integrated but when it comes to the Netweaver technology they get integrated so basically Netweaver is a platform kind of a thing just like we have in Sony Sony I was telling about the home smart home wherein you you don't have to actually it is not mandatory to purchase all the all the devices or the uh, you know tools that Sony is providing you can purchase if you already have an AC at home and TV at home you just want to connect the music system washing machine and um, you know your 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 electric equipment or something like that then you can do that probably you can do that so this is something which is an option which uh, which uh, sony gives similarly sap gives an option of connecting various tools using the netweaver platform so ultimately you need to understand that netweaver is a very powerful platform so explaining the architecture of an sap system application server and application server uh, how does application server work so in the application server, we have the ABAP and Java, both both uh, offerings. So we'll see, it's the SAP Netweaver, the SAP software portfolio, Netweaver and use cases and capabilities of Netweaver. So basically, if you look at uh, all the different tools that we have in SAP Netweaver, uh, um, Netweaver, it was actually launched in 2004, but it got upgraded uh, gradually. And uh, this is what we are seeing at uh, is the 2010 um, you know offering it can integrate too many things into that pla into the platform so whether it it, it it comes into the various categories for example if you have the kind of a uh, security and uh, security we have uh, various options like identity and access management compliance and software uh, lifecycle security security collaboration and in a similar way let's look at the custom development the custom development can be done either on ABAP platform or Java. So we can log in into ABAP editor or we can log into Java editor and build the applications that we want. Now we will be primarily working on the ABAP development, but having said that, we will also look at certain things which will influence the Java development as well. So there are certain things which will which will be better developed in Java platform rather than ABAP development. We'll discuss that. Now we have got a lot of things like uh, we have got the business intelligence we have got enterprise information management so there are so we have a lot of things that are integrated here and we can we can choose any one of them so bas basically when it comes to the um, say enterprise information management we have enterprise data warehouse management 
master data management data integration and quality management metadata management and enterprise content management you can choose any of these offerings it's not mandatory that you have to select every one of them you can select any one of them and start using this netweaver platform and apply it for that so this is how it works and when it comes to the business intelligence also there are a lot of tools that are been added in the recent times so you can make use of the um, you know additions or the conventional one so it all depends on how the client wants it to be so now what exactly is netweaver netweaver is a platform and they have they have a lot of things um, which they have uh, you know combined and you know merged into this uh, it's not completely merging it's enabling that tool to work in this netweaver platform okay so if, if let's say sony electronics has launched this smart home uh, they will not completely change the technology of uh, your uh, music system or uh, um, a stove or uh, any any other uh, washing machine or whatever it might be but they will just add this patch to it in such a way that it can be electronically controlled by you uh, using that smart home uh, concept so, like so same same thing here so use case so if you want to build composite applications we have sap composition environment we have data warehousing for data warehousing we have business warehousing and we have integrating and self servicing content building integration scenarios custom application development so these are all the things that we have now if let's say if you want the data warehousing solution data warehousing is just a just a generic term just like car is a generic term mobile phone is a generic term ERP enterprise resource planning is a generic term data warehousing is also a generic term any company can manufacture data warehousing tool uh, you know the uh, yesterday you know a few of you were talking about the ETL process extraction transformation loop so this ETL actually comes in this data warehousing concept okay so this is like sap business warehouse and all that's the solution sap has given so if you want to integrate the self service in netweaver portal that's enterprise portal if you want to integrate different uh, softwares like uh, we have sap to sap uh, sap to sap data transfer or sap to non sap data transfer those all things can be integrated in process integration so in this way and to develop new applications we have the app app so this is a netweaver netweaver concept in which we have the integration so if we talk about the integration we have three types of integrations that are that needs to be focused on those three types of uh, integrations are basically the uh, information integration process integration and people integration then we have the composition security and uh, identity and management and life cycle management these all things will automatically come in the platform by default but when it comes to the people integration process integration information integration sap what 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 sap thought is that uh, people are people have to be getting integrated see, see once upon a time there was a time, there was a situation where if you have to use sap you have to install the sap logon pad and configure the system and then log in into it only those people who are able to log in into it will be able to access sap system but after the introduction of net uh, internet internet in 1990s sap thought that this is going to be the future and we have to integrate uh, websites you know web portals to our sap system so how do we actually connect so that's how they slowly started thinking that comes under the people integration whether it might be customers whether it might be employees they all have to get integrated then the next thing is the process i mean like exchange of data okay that is something which was a challenge so if you let's say if a vendor is working on java system our customer is working on uh, a, a, a tool which is based on visual basic you cannot go back to the customers and vendors and say that okay you have to change the platform no it's not possible so what we have to do is you have to integrate with them and send the information whichever is required whenever it is required according to their requirement this is what will happen so this is how actually this uh, you know the entire process has been created now uh, when they introduced this sap uh, ecs 6.0 in 2004 when they when they introduced sap ecs 6.0 uh, they had they have they have introduced the sap netweaver application server as it works in the application server so what is an application server what is database database tier application tier presentation tier i'm going to discuss that but options if you want to do the coding for ecc the erp software you can go ahead and do it in abap 
but if you have to create something on the enterprise portal you can better use the java platform is what they have given so you can write the java code and then you can see that in the portal so if you have to design websites or portals or something then uh, you know preferred one is this one and uh, for ecc developments internally for software they have uh, they have uh, a app they have rolled away now here it comes to the netweaver application server so when we have this netweaver application server basically uh, for any software will have three tabs i mean internally in the server will have three tabs one is the database tab application tab and presentation tab so if you see if you if you think of a one tier architecture your laptop not connected to any of the networks whether it might be lan or you know internet anything then it it, it can be considered as a single tier architecture but if you are connecting to a server single server within a, within a, within your lab you might have used your lab so in the lab you know all all are getting all will get connected with the lan so that is two tier architecture Tier architecture is somewhere where we have the application tier in the middle. So I'll explain you about that later. But this is how we have database level. We have all the data being stored, and application level, all the programs get executed at the application tier level. Then we have the presentation tier where we can see the data. So once upon a time it was only SAP GUI from where we, we were able to see the data, and then we have the websites. This is what we have. So we'll discuss about the SAP architecture and uh, uh, ABAP in Java. So this is a hardware-oriented view and software-oriented view. So basically, uh, from the hardware point of view, the LAN. Actually, the LAN or WAN which we are talking about will connect the server with the client. And from the software point of view, it's like the request for a service will be provided and then it will come back. Now, as I was discussing, we had we have three layers. One is database tier, application tier, and presentation tier. Now in in middle of this application tier and presentation tier they have introduced the internet so that we can connect with the internet and without even logging into the sap logon pad we can still access the data basically the functionality of database tier is to store the data application tier's functionality is to process the data uh, or process whatever program or logic that we have done and presentation tier is where we see the data So we have these instances, we have various instances. So we have the database tab and we have the application tab and we have the presentation tab. So we're going to discuss about uh, in detail about the database tab, application tab, and presentation tab more in detail. Okay, going forward. Uh, basically, when we when they are giving the offerings, uh, they have uh, on premise, on demand, and on de on device. So these were the areas where SAP uh, focused on the orchestration. So on device, on demand, on premise. But then they they have a lot of offerings. Uh, we have cloud offering as well, which we'll discuss later. But functionality uh, functionalities we have the SAP Business Suit, SAP business all in one business by design business one these are the various offerings that sap gives and uh, this is like a business suit is for very big enterprises huge enterprises business all in one is for slightly small uh, enterprises and uh, business by design is for small businesses and if it's a very small business we'll have uh, sap business one which is an offering which can be f uh, can be afforded by small companies uh, we consider companies who have uh, 10 crores to 100 crores turnover as a small companies. Huge companies will have thousands of crores of turnover. So, solutions designed for SMEs, uh, I mean like uh, small and medium, uh, medium scale enterprises. So for small and medium scale enterprises, they have given a very simple solutions like SAP Business One. 
SAP business by design and business all in one. So these are the these are the tools for the small businesses. So in SAP business one, we have a lot of things that will be offered. Like uh, they have, uh, uh, you know, it's very cost effective kind of a thing uh, where we we can get a lot of things being collaborated with uh, the existing. Uh, um, you know software so you can have uh, on-premise or cloud uh, server and then on that we can go ahead and this SAP business one core software will sit then we have something called software development kit which will enable us to integrate all these things with the actual software like, um, there will be industry solution add add-ons a lot of things can be added here So in, in cloud-based offering, uh, SAP has given the software as a service. So when they say software as a service, it's actually something which we uh, have it like, a, you know, a, we are going to make use of a software as a service, not being installed in our systems. I'll explain you about that. This is, this is about the SAP business all in one. Now we are going to come back to this and uh, compare uh, what are the offerings that we have uh, for business one by design and all in one. These are all for uh, you know small scale industries. So SAP Business Suite will integrate a lot of things here. We're going to come back to that. 